Okay. All right, so we're back. We're back. Welcome I'm, back to apartment six. Yeah, I'm sure none of you have seen a Theorbo before until today. Uh, this is Jonathan, <laughs> and he is oh. amazing through and through. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy yeah. the second set. Thank you. 
Yorbo to this kind of setting. This is uh, <laughs> really its original, original space. He's in apartment six. <laughs> yes, exactly. Apartment six. This is where it was invented. Yeah. Uh, end of the 16th century. I know it myself. So what you just heard comes straight out of uh, the courts of Louis XIV in the end of the 17th century in France. That was a uh, uh, two pieces from a G major suite by Robert de Vizé, um, who many classical guitarists will know because of his Baroque guitar repertoire, um, but wrote lots of music for Theorbo and lute, and was the private lutenist of Louis XIV, meaning he followed him around in the garden with his guitar, or <laughs> played him to sleep, or in the bathtub, really <laughs> where he wanted him. <laughs> But now I'm going to go back in time to the beginning of the Fiorbo. This is about 100 years earlier in Italy. Um, and there were a couple composers who were really playing and writing a lot of music for the Fiorbo at the beginning. And these are Giovanni Girolamo Capsberger and Alessandro Piccinini. Um, so I'm going to play uh, a few pieces by these two.
tuning the staccato chromatica, so. Right, that's basically the <laughs> um, So I'm going to go back, this is the last uh, piece I have for you, um, to Kepsberger. And um, this is from his fourth book of music for the Theorbo, which, that first book, which is the first piece you heard in this little set, um, is full of toccatas and gavillards, and his fourth book has a ton of different dances in it, and some a, a bit unusual. Um, he has one called Capsburger. I don't know if anyone else wrote a Capsburger dance. But this one, <laughs> this one is a canario, which might be familiar to classical guitarists. And there's a famous Gaspar Sanz canarios that Joachim Rodrigo ended up using in the Fantasia para Angel de Hombre Concerto. This is not that canario, this is Capsburger's canario, but it's a very simple chord progression um, and simple dance that supposedly originates from the Canary Islands. Um, so I'm going to finish this set off with this canario. Thank mm -hmm. you.